guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and I'm privileged to be here today with Paulini. Hello, Hi. darling. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm better now that you guys are here. So I know. This is good. Now you this can is actually exciting. sit back and relax. That's right. Thanks Have for a having chat. us here in your dressing room. Oh, babe, it's all good. You can come anytime. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that invitation. Whenever, <laughs> anytime. There's something I love about your name. You kind of like. Madonna. Oh my god. Where you don't even need to say your last name and really? people know Come who you on. Are. Yeah. <laughs> no. One I, day, babe, I'm yeah, up yeah. at Madonna. <laughs> you know or what? Beyonce. I, uh, yeah, that's another yeah, one you don't really look, need to say your last name. Look, in my yeah, in my imagination I'd love for that to be yeah, for that to be kind of like a real thing, but no, I'm just um the reason why there's just the first name is because no one can say my last name. So how know. do you say your last name? I okay. really love to learn this. <laughs> it's 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 spelt C U R U E N A V U L I, but it's pronounced Vernavulli. I know. Interesting. No yeah. wonder everyone gets see it what wrong. You did, you, you, you yeah. See what you did with your face? That's yeah, you're like, everyone, everyone does with their face. <laughs> Just like, stick what? with Paulini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have the first name only. That's the only reason why. But um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, you know, I'll I'll take that on. I'll take that yeah, compliment. Madonna, on. Yeah, Madonna, Madonna and Beyonce. Beyonce. Yep, Who else? Course. Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another one. <laughs> now, before we you know talk about your uh, latest project, uh -huh. your big big show, uh -huh. love because this is your first time on the show. I'd love to actually go back to the beginning, really oh, take it yes. down memory lane here, and yes. you know chat about. How you got started? Yep. Because yep. I have actually been wanting you on the show for a while. Oh. You were supposed to come on the show back when you were in Bodyguard, actually. Oh. But you know, life got in the way, and yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, never ended up happening. But I did have Prinny Stevens on, okay, who played your sister. <laughs> yes, I and love her. We spoke That's about my girl. you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and your stalker, Brendan Irving. Oh, he's lovely, isn't I he? I do love those two he's so much. He's away from a stalker as you can get. I, right. <laughs> yeah, I he's know. like the opposite of a stalker. I was like, I saw the show, and I'm like, you're really scary. Yeah, yeah. But you're so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. boy, yes. I'm like, what He's is got happening? a beautiful soul, yeah. <laughs> so going back to the beginning of, not even your career, like yeah, actually yeah. beginning of your whole life journey. Life, yes. You were born in Fiji and moved to Australia at yes. age of Four. Yeah, but I did yeah. read at age ten you were singing at like a church talent quest, and that's really where you well, found your love for yeah so singing. Look, my, I'm I'm the youngest of six. I know so it's a I'm big from family. a very big family, and all my brothers and sisters, they all sing, they all play instruments, um, and bit so of competition. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, a little bit, a little bit. I think it's more with the girls than the boys. You know, like girls always have some type of yeah, problem, we, but we want the spotlight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I pretty much I, I I was born into into you know into a musical family and I was always around it and um, I think for me the most amazing place where I learnt how to sing was was home and church mm. um, and I remember you know joining the children's choir when I was like I think I was seven or eight. And then there was one time where they said, look, we're going to have a, like a, a talent quest at church. So if you want to perform a song, you can do it. And that was around like 10 years old. And I got up and, and sung for the first time. And wow. it was the most scariest thing for me. Of course. Um, halfway, like I remember halfway through the song, I started crying. I don't know why I started crying. But I, I was probably <laughs> I just... I found my love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, that was really kind of when I... I realized that you know I, I, what you wanted there's, to do. yeah there's something here and I should probably use it um, and from then on I just kind of kept you know every little opportunity I got to perform in front of people or, or to perform at school and stuff like that I'd, I'd just be like yeah pick uh, you know pick me pick me and, and you know and try and get history, it I guess. yeah and try and like get into into every type of musical event that was happening around my area and at school I love that yeah no it was um it was great and I was I was such a like growing up I was really kind of um passionate about about singing not not to say that I'm not passionate oh, now like, but you I know still see the passion yeah, yeah yeah no but there was a drive there mm. you know there was a drive still that, new yeah like you hadn't exactly. actually gotten exactly. into it yet right mm. so um for me it was yeah I was just like you know whatever opportunity comes up I'm gonna do it did you ever because I did hear after school you know you worked in a clothing store as well I while did while trying to make it a mu as a musician did yes did you ever have a plan b or was it always like I'm gonna make this happen um I never really had a plan b no 
that, to be honest, like I... Like that drive. Yeah, I just yeah. went for that. I I kind of, you know, um, I did have a, I, I did have a, a job at, um, I don't know whether you guys remember this, you guys are really young, but... <laughs> Um, it, Try was, me. it was called Old Garage. It was like a clothing no, store. <laughs> but, sorry, I just made you feel old. You're a baby. I? You're a baby. It's okay. Apologize. Um, but it I mean, was, I could have faked it and gone, yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, no, right? No, this is good. That clothing Keep it real. Store, keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, they they sold like cargo pants and like um, you know, flannel like uh, tea, like shirts and and all that type of stuff. Like more like a country road, mm. a cheaper brand of country road. Okay. That if you great were to compare it to something, yes. something. Um, and I was doing that and also kind of working with um, two producers who were brothers, the Martinez brothers. And, you know, when I on my, on my days off, I'd, I'd be in the studio like riding with them. And I was like, I would have been like 16, 17. Wow. Yeah. So I really had like a, a like I was going for it. I was I like, I'm going to get a record deal. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to get a record deal. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got one, so congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you I did think you were a shy teenager as well. Oh, like extremely. That is something we have in common. Ex- really? Yes. Oh, I was the shyest person you've I'm ever I'm sorry. Been. How yeah. is this shy? I, I was about yeah, to say yeah, that yeah, to I know. you. I know. <laughs> did you find like singing really helped you come out of your shell? Yeah, look, that I think singing was the only time I really ever did come out of my shell. You know, other than that, I was very like um, just just a very shy person. Mm, you know, I yeah, very reserved. Um, kept to myself. Um, yeah, it was it, singing was like a, a way to kind of express who I was, mm. and you know, all the writing and all the recording sessions. That was that was great for me because I could actually write down what I was feeling and you know the things that I was going through so it was it was a great kind of therapeutic um uh, journey that I was yeah. going through you know so, yeah well, now look at you but look I at was, both of us well yeah look at both of us this is it's amazing that you say that because I would never have picked never that. have guessed it yeah no but I was so shy really oh yes yeah, very oh. hard to uh, to make to, friends yeah always and to say the back of the class yeah. and like don't pick me <laughs> Whatever oh you do. <laughs> that is so me. That is so me. I just, and I think the, like, I had to force myself, like, after Idol. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of jumping here. But after Idol, That's I right, really. I was coming to Idol next Yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> after Idol, I really had to, like, um, you know, force myself to to do this type of stuff, like the, the media calls and all of that type of stuff, because I had to talk about whatever project I was working mm. on. So you couldn't kind of get away from it. And it's funny um, when you think about like a lot of the successful people now, they were usually really shy when they were young. Oh man, I was like- And then the uh, class clowns, what are they doing with their life? Right? <laughs> or maybe um, comedians, yeah, but where yeah. are you going? Yeah, where are you now? <laughs> oh my God, that That's is so bad. bad. But yeah. No, we're joking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I and even while I was I was on Idol, that was such a um, it was difficult for me because I was very reserved. We had to be in front of heaps of cameras and big audiences, and having people like you know um, just like the judges and and you know your family were there every night, and it was just it was a lot of pressure. But I'm and it's glad the start that of like I guess the whole stardom too. It's like oh, Pauline, right. we want a bit of your time. And That's- it's like, what that's, is going on? I'm that's normal. E- <laughs> that's exactly right. Like, I was freaking out throughout that whole process. Like, I really was just kind of going, wow, is this what it actually feels like? And that's just a little, you know, that's just like a little taste of what comes with um, the entertainment industry. But I mm. was like, oh, my gosh, this is like, it's insane. I don't know. You know, I didn't know whether I could kind of handle it or not but I had great people around me yeah so that was good as long as you had that support system that love you for who you are yeah because that is uh, you know a topic I was going to bring up that you know back when you were on Australian Idol yep it was in the media we all saw it (laughs) come on just say it (laughs) dicko (laughs) it's the gold dress yeah exactly and that you know you had to wear something a bit more appropriate appropriate and then you had to shed shed some pounds pounds. yes this is really hard for me to say but it's it's the real world 
you should choose more appropriate clothes or shed some pounds. I'm sorry. I remember it clearly, babe. Oh, yeah, like it was yesterday because it did affect your confidence a lot, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. And, and that is... even even before that, I wasn't a confident person. Yeah, you know? that just so, made it worse. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like standing there while he made that comment and I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Do I cry or do I just stand here and take it or do I run off stage? Like I didn't want to be dramatic, so I just kind of nodded at him and <laughs> I was you. like, oh, thanks. Thanks for telling Not me. Not confident. Yeah. Can you like ah. tell me about my actual singing? That would <laughs> yeah. be great. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like such a. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. It kind of happened really fast, and I just remember the room at that time. You know, everyone was just like everyone. The was a atmosphere <gasps> like just and... changed from a positive atmosphere to like a really negative, um, you know, vibe. So it was just. It was the weirdest thing, and I don't think he. Um, you know, he he, I, he probably didn't use the the, the right words mm. um, because he's a nice dude. He really yeah. is a nice guy. But um, you got to be careful what you say. Yeah, it can you just really gotta, affect you mentally. Yeah, I was like twenty years old. Yeah, you know, and I was still like, trying to find yourself. Oh, jeez, I don't even know what to say to this. Mm. This is new. But um, you know, that's the kind of um, they're the things that you go through when you're in the public eye. You're going to get people who don't like you and who, who don't believe in you and who criticise you for everything that you do. Not everyone's going to love you, so, no. you know. Well, that's why I wanted to bring it up because something I love about the show is not just to go back to your beginning and actually find out how you made it successful yeah, so that people yeah. that want to do what you're doing yeah. know that there are so many different avenues. Absolutely. It's a lot of hard work, but Absolutely. you can get there. Yeah. But also, you know, um, a bit of a view of the you know life challenges that their favorite celebrities go through. Yeah. Because even though you know you might look up to these celebrities and go, oh my god, like <laughs> oh. I'm nothing like them, but we all go through the same thing, and especially around that age. Yeah. There's heaps of a young lot. girls that just with social, social media now, yeah. not feeling like they're good enough. I mean, that's the other thing, right? Because we didn't have social media at that time. It's made it worse now. Yeah. Hasn't it? Like yeah. you know what what young young girls are going through now is I think 50 times worse than what we were going through because we weren't on social media what like you know seeing people comment on whatever we like our performances and stuff like that but I see that a lot now with um, you know the, the um, contestants on X Factor and, and all these new mm. shows and I just I, I, I don't know how they I mean I do I do know how you could kind of get past that you just don't you can't let Things you, like you that. You can ignore it. Yeah, you, you can you, you ignore it. You set it, it to your face. Yeah. So how do you get over something like that mentally I, and move on and really love who you are? You know, I like I said, I, I've got such a great family and they were like, you know what, don't worry about it. We yeah. love you and, 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 you know, and that's that's just something that you've got to kind of, you know, you, you, you sit there and you kind of let it happen and then you go, okay, thanks, and let Move it go. On. Yeah. yeah, that's what you have to do. Well, now, you have I, to, you I have think to especially that. when you look at your Instagram and stuff, you're such a positive role model Aww, for women out thank there. thank you. I especially try. Especially in terms I of body try. image and confidence. <laughs> and Yeah, exactly. The nice post at the UFC gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, it. he's stalking me. <laughs> I have to do my research, don't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that for bodyguard, awesome. you know, you dropped two dress sizes. That's yeah, incredible. yeah. Incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I wish I was still at that size now, but <laughs> but it's it, it is a lot of yeah. It is a lot of, of work. You know, you have to put in the work, mm. um, and it's it's just it's not just going to happen. You have to go out there and, and look for opportunities, and the and some people. It's it's funny because some people I think. They look at an opportunity that will come their way and kind of go, oh, well, I'm too good for that and I, I, I shouldn't do that because I, I feel like my standards are higher. But you know what? You never know where that road's going to lead you to. Yeah. So you have to just keep going at it, take every opportunity and work at, at your craft, you know. If, if you know that you don't feel comfortable in the, in the skin that you're in, Go to the gym, get Change healthy, it. you know, mm. all of that stuff. You've you've got to you've got to do those things so that you can build your confidence mentally, physically and spiritually. I, I think. That's great advice yeah. for everyone watching too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, guys, <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Love, that's all they needed to hear. <laughs> no, but really, you know, I'm I'm such a um, like I, I love going and talking to young kids in, in different like in schools and, and in communities where 
you know, you just, because I'm, I'm that person. I really am that person. I'm not from a rich family. Mm. Um, I didn't have a lot growing up, and but I worked my ass off, you know, and that's all you need. If you've got the talent and you've got the work ethic behind it, you'll get there. Yeah, don't give up. Yeah. Mm. Don't, don't give up. I mean, yeah, there's so many opportunities out there that you can, can that will come your it. way. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. right. We we'll can all it. have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, this is really exciting as well. Yeah. You are the star vocalist in Saturday Night. Oh, yes, musical. I like that. Star vocalist. Star Thanks, star vocalist. <laughs> it even says it on your door at the dressing room. <laughs> don't know oh, if you've realised that. <laughs> no, well, I did see that when I walked in. I was like, really? <laughs> come <Me>? on. <laughs> do we really have to put this on the door? <laughs> yes, they do. Just to really fuel your ego. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that soon. Well, I'm, I don't know if, like, it's so, some, uh, something that came to my mind was, like, when I was doing research on you, I was like, you know, both Saturday Night Fever and The Bodyguard yeah. are such well-known storylines. They lines. are, they are, yeah. Is that daunting at all to do? Because that's must, must be, like, such a, you know, everyone has a high expectation. That's right. Coming in. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Like, for, I remember when I got the, um, the part for, for The Bodyguard, and, you know, to play Whitney Houston, like, She's one of my inspirations. Yeah. You know, that's a woman that, you know, God bless her soul. She's she's not with us anymore. But I grew up listening to her music. I grew up kind of imitating what she would do on stage. So it was like, it was almost like it was surreal to be doing that. You know, mm. I I really was grateful. I... I was scared because I knew that people in the audience would be like, "Oh, it has to be like this," and if you don't perform mm-hmm. it like this, nah, you're not you're not good enough. Um, so I, there's all those, you know, that, like that pressure's there. Oh yeah, especially um, with the "I will always love you" oh song. Like everyone's like, "Okay, um, when's yeah. the big cut? Is she part? gonna, is she is she gonna, gonna get it? there? Is she gonna get to that note?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, it's yeah, you know, there's always ex- like expectations and. But you just gotta you gotta believe in yourself and and put yourself out there and really try and grow while you're in that pro- uh, that process. Mm. Yeah. But you've obviously done for this one. Too. Oh, I hope I'm growing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely am. That's something I love about Saturday Night Fever is the music is just infectious. Oh, it's insane. Like, like BGS, they're just right. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. How deep is your love? Staying alive. Which song do you think gets stuck in your head the most? <laughs> Look, my favourite would... Uh, the song that kind of sticks in my head now is Jive Talking, yeah. which is a song that I wasn't quite familiar with before, before. I did this. Um, so that that's... I mean, the, the bass line in that is insane. That's I think that's why, because the groove's so good. And I'm like constantly and you can't, on like, stage not just like yeah. doing this. Um, but my favourite is How Deep Is Your Love. Yes. That's got to, yeah, that's hands down my favourite BG song. And they did really have high distinct voices as well. Like, have you had any issues with that? Or have you kind of put your own flavour in, into <laughs> no, it just to protect your voice I a little bit? I can't do that. I can't <laughs> do that falsetto, um, uh, like, like falsetto thing that they, they the have. Yeah, yeah, the BG the sound. BG sound, yeah. I can't do it. One of the boys can. He can kind of like, he can, yeah, he can get to those high notes and he's got that, eh, that real kind of like high That was piercing, a good example. You know, <laughs> high piercing kind of tone, but no, not me. I'm just, I just try and sing it the way I, I would, I would perform their song. But try, look, I'd, I'd always stick to the, um, you know, the, the basics, but then I kind of put my own little flavour here flavor, and there. Yeah. Okay. You know? Of course. Got to do it. Everyone's come to see you. Right? Yeah. It's not the Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah. Pauline no. yeah. <laughs> well, no, is singing the Bee Gees song. Yeah, so I love yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> and how has it been working with the legendary Marsha Hines? Oh, it's so amazing. She's so beautiful, isn't like, she? It is so amazing. It's, it's great to... Um, to actually work with her and, and you know like every night we're together in the dressing rooms and chatting and it's just so normal mm. things are just you know you, you look at Marsha and you kind of go oh it's Marsha Hines oh my gosh but she is so real so down to earth and just makes all of like the rest of the cast members feel so comfortable around her it's it's amazing she's an amazing woman you definitely learn a lot from her too oh, she's mate, I've, yeah like she Australian you know legend that's right <laughs> yeah. yeah you know, like she's it's it's all those guys like jimmy barnes marsha hines john farnham you know all those guys you, you just kind of go yeah this is, is we're we're in um in greatness you know they're, they're all legends yeah. 
that have been doing what? it for so Her long. Her name is the one on like all the promotional <laughs> posters right. on buses all Featuring around Sydney. Featuring yeah. Marsha Hines. <laughs> So she's really who everybody comes to see. Yes, that's know. right. Yeah, it's not it's not me or anyone else. It's it's her. They <laughs> see that fake name first, and they go, "Okay, Pauline, yeah. Tim and Maddox, yeah. Bobby Fox." Yes. Like, okay, and then cool. the other yeah. names are like sprinkled, sprinkled. around. <laughs> yeah, but they definitely did a really good job casting it. So. Oh, it's it's great, and and so Tim Maddox, you know, oh, um, loved him. Like, He's been on the show too. Who yeah, haven't like, I had on the show? I, right. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah. No, you're on now. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like everybody in the cast, like all of the cast members are so beautiful. So talented. You know, like, down to the youngest person in the cast. They're just so beautiful. Yeah. Such good kids, yeah. It's become like a family now. I it guess. is. That's it's exa- that's that's exactly what it is. It's like a lot a of the musicals family. do. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you're working together so much. That's right, and you're in each other's face every night, and you know when something happens, you kind of go, you 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 all go through that experience together. So it does bring you bring you really close. Really close. Yeah, I love it. It's good. It's good. Well, good luck with the rest of the show. No, thank you. Everyone should go buy their tickets now. Yes, please. Before come. they're all sold out. We close June the second, so make sure you get your tickets and. And come to the Lyric Theatre. Love it. <laughs> now, even though you've already achieved so much in your career, Paulini, mm-hmm. what else can we expect from you in the future? Do you have plans? Oh uh, well, Saturday Night Fever, yes, or? I do. Well, I've got I've got New two album. weeks. <laughs> well, you know what? I am working on music yes. right now. I know. I, I, Hallelujah! I, I want to wor- I want to release something ASAP. I just um, haven't really. I haven't focused on it in the last few you've years. You know. Yeah. Understandable. Been, you know. <laughs> But it's um, no, I, I really do want to release some new music, and I'm going to be, you know, doing another another theatre production. Ooh, so, yes. Okay, so we yes. got to keep our eyes peeled on Please your social do. media pages. Please and do. See yes. What's happening next? Yes, I will be. Um, I'll I'll be doing another musical, and yeah, I, I really do want to release some music. Well, when you do, That's come back focus. on the show. We'll chat I'd about love it more. to. I'd love to. Yeah, for sure. I'd love 100%. to as well. 100%. Because it's a whole originals album as well. Oh, yes. 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 So we can really get down Songs to Songs that I've written and, you know, things that I've gone through and things that I haven't gone through that my friends have gone through or my family have gone through. All that type of stuff. Oh, everything we can <laughs> relate to. That's right. I love it. That's Human what, experience. That is something I really like about music. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's some it, we can connect to some song, right? Some, some way or another. Yeah. You know, and and it's funny because a lot of these um, songs in Saturday Night Fever, if you look, if you kind of actually sit down and listen to the lyrics, those lyrics are so deep and mm. they're. They just uh, most of those songs speak to me. Like um, I'm just people like, are too busy oh dancing, gosh. but yeah, right? yeah, because they're feel good songs. Yeah. But when you actually sit down and listen to the lyric, you're kind of like, wow, it's, it's really actually good. deep, and that's exactly what's happening to me right now. You know, so it's it's great. I, music is is something that I think well, is. The new album. Yes, please yes. look out for Paulini, the new Pauline. album. <laughs> and speaking of your social medias, to go check it out, where yes, should people go? Yes, uh, my Instagram is Paulini underscore Thurunavulli. Um, and I've got a Facebook page uh, and Twitter. So, yeah, check me out on, on everything. that. everything. I love it. I try and stay on <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, it you're welcome. It has been a pleasure. You're welcome. Come you're back welcome. on the show anytime. I would love to. Have another big girl chat. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thanks for dropping in, babe. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks for having us here in your dressing room. All good. <laughs> for everyone watching, make sure, as I said, to buy your tickets. Yes. Through Saturday Night Fever. We're mm-hmm. here at Sydney Lyric Theatre until June 2nd. June 2nd, yeah. Coming up very quickly. I know. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.